Hold on to your seats. The fun and excitement of duck pin bowling is rolling your way. It's time for duck pin magic. Welcome to Duckpin Magic. I'm Mike Stella with me, Joe Ryan Air, and the excitement should really be at a peak when uh, our four bowlers hit the uh, lanes today. Joe, the champion of the DPBA Pro Tour stop at Town Hall Lanes, will be crowned today. Well, we have quite a story in the making. You have sitting on top Nemo Lingerman, who's looking for his first Pro Tour victory, has a couple seconds. Of course, we have Peter Pierce, who put on quite a show for us last week. Barry Egoff, who's looking for his second Pro Tour victory in a row. And then you have the ever-present Steve Ivorone, who would love to win in front of the hometown folks. All right, we'll meet our bowlers, get our first match underway when we return right after this. We now join the scheme already in progress. Took advantage of that. He threw the first ball out to the right, then made the one, two, four for his second spare in a row. A little bit of over correction. That's that's the mistake you don't want to make against Peter Pierce. He's had three opens and four frames, has Peter. Uh, nice nine. And you, you know, he's he's looking for some oxygen, and you just sent it to him. And believe me, watch. Pierce 41 after four, working on the open frame, as Joe mentioned. It's a 15-pin lead at this point. Barry 66 in the fifth frame. Peter 41 in the fourth. Not a good ball. You heard when you hear Peter's ball hit the floor. He's not really dropping it. It's in his hand when it hits the floor, but it means he's doing something that he's not getting through the ball at the proper time. Well, he might have dropped it early. Perspiration might be bothering him a bit. He threw that one right. Hit it dead center and picks up his second mark of the match. First since the second frame. He'll be moving into the sixth frame on lane number seven here at Town Hall Lanes, and we really should take this opportunity to thank uh, our hosts here, the proprietors of Town Hall Lane, the uh, Ferry family, Frank Sr., Frank Jr., and uh, Bobby Ferry. They've done an outstanding job. They uh, certainly made us feel at home, and I tell you, you could thank them all day. They, they've all been here uh, for this whole time that this has taken place. Uh, Frank Sr.'s wife, Bobby's wife, their sister, they've all been here. I mean, this is a family-run business, and they do a good job of it. Peter took a eight there after uh, six frames. He is trailing in the match. We'll, we'll take a break and uh, be back with the e-golf and Pierce match right after this. Barry Egoff steps forward on lane number eight here at Town Hall Lanes. Frame number six, he is leading Peter Pierce at this point in time. Now 14 pins, he has a tough break in a 7-8. So many times you'll be going along and things are going your way and you throw a bad ball, which he did, chop the 2-8, come back and throw a good one and you still pay, you feel like you're still paying for the last frame. All right, one more. Doing a smart thing, one and one. It's just uh, practice your stroke, get comfortable, start all over when you, you know, get on the lanes the next frame. He's going to step back and regroup, probably wait for that ball to come back. Yeah, you really don't want to have too many open frames in a row against Peter, and that's two in a row for Barry. He should feel, even though he only got 10, he should pe feel pretty good about the sixth frame. He threw a good first ball, and then he hit a pin with each ball. So let's see what happens. Well, he's did a little bit of everything the last three frames. He chopped on the side, left a split, now pushed the ball through the middle. And a 
If I were in his shoes, I would feel things uh, slipping away. He's got the third ball here. Trying to pick up the wood. He's got it. 86 in the seventh for Barry Egolf. And here comes Peter Pierce. Peter, just two marks in his first six frames. And if he had ever left the door open for somebody, he's done it here for Barry Egolf. And as of this moment, Barry has not been able to capitalize on it. Well, and, and actually, both of Peter's marks, he, he sort of gave them back. His first mark, he counted three, and his next mark, he counted three. And you're not, you're right, you're not going to get this opportunity against Peter. And you don't want to be a little bit ahead of Peter Pierce. You want to you want to be 31 pins ahead when you go into the 10th frame. Oh, tough, 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 because he's be really caught half frame of that. Here. Yep. His roll, he drives the ball so well that you saw no deflection, right? I mean, he's a little befuddled about uh, what happened there. He is soaking wet. And it's, it's, it's not, well, of course, the camera lights uh, create a lot of heat. 14-pin lead for Barry Egolf as we head down the final three frames. The winner moves on to face Steve Ivarone, who has bowled a few games here at this particular bowling establishment. He's bowled a lot of games here and, and quite a few good ones. Peter's not having much fun, uh, and Peter's not used to this. It gives a lot of people a chance to see that he is human, and these things do happen to Peter. See, he's not getting a crack. The pins don't sound the same. Uh, he doesn't look quite the same. And like I said, with Peter, it's, it's very difficult. I, I really can't pick out. Uh, I wouldn't even venture to say what I think it is. He, he looks the same all the time. Uh, if anything, he's sort of stuffing the ball. He doesn't, doesn't have that nice pop on the end of it. Very eagle. That was one. That was a fine place for that, Mike. Now, 14 plus through eight frames. We'll get another chance to see. Kicks out the four pin last strong ball, one three pocket. Of course, uh, as most of us, the key to Barry's game is to keep that arm in tight and make the transition from the top of the backswing into the downswing without the jerk. Just to let the ball start down. These guys throw the ball hard, but if you watch, their arm motion is not real fast. Good, but I mean, that was automatic. You that could just see. Shot there. Take a look at it, a double for Barry Eagle. Boy, and here's what you like to know. You, you throw a strike in the right pocket, go over in the left lane and throw a bomb in the left pocket, and he has to feel real good. Well, that's Peter the needs, first crack we've heard. Needs some help here. Peter can make this and shoot 132, and Barry would it have to be a catastrophe for Barry to lose. Uh, Looks like Barry's going to be going on to face Steve Ivarone. And waiting on top for the winner of our next match, Nemo Lingerman Jr. If I were Barry, I'd be thanking uh, the people who found this game for making it only 10 frames. You don't want to bowl Peter all day. Take the victory and pack Peter up and get him out of here. Well, he's got one more ball here. Yes, it goes true. A man once told me that the sun don't shine on the same dog all time, you know? <laughs> well, just to carry that time, finishes up strong with a 121. Boy, that was a rugged 121 though for Peter Pierce. He had sure to work was. for every bit of that. How about a triple? Hit his stride, didn't he? Got used to the lights. All in the arm swing, Mike. It's, uh, 
Well, you know what happened? He kept trying to let it slip away, and Peter didn't jump on him. And, and if you keep letting a guy go uh, with these people's ability, got a little quick at time. But that's a that's a case there where you just take the deep breath and say, boy, I got rid of this horse, you know? <laughs> One sixty, Mike. One sixty, one twenty-one. The final count here is uh, Barry Egolf looking for his second Pro Tour win. Dispatches Peter Pierce in I would call a, a mild upset, and we'll have match number two as Egolf faces off against Steve Ivarone when we return right after this.